And now the moment you've all been waiting for. He's a high school All-American, a college All-American. He's all pro in the NFL, but the thing he's most proud of is that during his show in Muncie, Indiana, he made a woman in the crowd laugh so hard, she shit her pants. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat McAfee! Peyton Manning won another Super Bowl, man. I was so happy for him. That's awesome. Yeah. Peyton's a really good dude, and uh, he's the only person that just can, you know, speak his way into free everything for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> Wins the Super Bowl, kisses Papa John's right on the face. <laughs> There's free pizza forever. All right, now, now what do I get to do when I'm retired? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and drink a lot of Budweiser. There's free beer forever. <laughs> what else do I need? Uh, man, I love diapers. Uh, I love, uh, I wish he would've just went into like 15 different commercials right there. <laughs> just completely sold out and get the rest of his life paid for for free. Cause he could do that. If I was to get on TV, which I never would for football, but let's say I was interviewed after a game. Cause boy, I had some great punts, you know? <laughs> great. They're like, Pat, how'd you punt so well today? I'm like, good question. Last night, I drank a bunch of Budweiser. <laughs> then I drove in my Cadillac, drank 14 Red Bulls, tried a couple of five-hour energies. <laughs> then I used some Aussie and Tresemme hairspray. <laughs> That's why I punted so well, take care, and just walk off. <laughs> Roger Goodell would have called me the next day, hey, let's talk, uh, yeah. Why don't you just go ahead and shut the fuck up forever? <laughs> Hey, Roger, you got it. Uh, I got a chance to hang out with Peyton every once in a while. You know, obviously we shower together. I've told that story. <laughs> it's a good day, but uh, before he even really knew me, he asked me to go on a golf trip with him. And it was fantastic. And I honestly believe the only reason why I was asked is because he looked around the locker room and was like, that guy's white, he can golf. <laughs> He was wrong. I'm a... <laughs> hey, Pat, you want to go golfing with us in French Lake, Indiana? Uh, of course I do, yeah. I got to learn how to fucking golf. Uh, <laughs> I borrowed Adam Vinatieri's clubs. I didn't even have clubs. I go, Vinny, hey, don't know if you were invited, but... <clears throat> I was. He said I was invited. Yeah, I got family. I got kids. I go, oh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> guy have your golf clubs? He goes, sure. So I go golfing with him down in French Lake, Indiana. And uh, I lost roughly, give or take, I don't know, probably 160 of Peyton Manning's golf balls. If you go down to French Lake, Indiana right now, there's about a 90% chance you will find a ball with the number 18P and a horseshoe on it because I sprayed them fucking things all over the... <laughs> the entire estate. He was very confused on why I was there, I think, after my first couple golf shots, but he found out quickly why after I got intoxicated, right? I became the entertainment of the night, and I knew my role, and I was gonna execute it, so I was having a good time. So we go to dinner and drinks after the first round of golf, and uh, we get back to uh, the hotel, and to get to your room, you have to walk through the casino, up some escalators, and then you're off to your room. And he had rented a bus, and apparently word had got out that Peyton Manning was coming back. Because as soon as we parked the bus out front, there was like 50 people outside waiting for autographs. And when I got off the bus first, they all just went like... <laughs> the fuck is that? Really? <laughs> and I would have done the same thing, so I just skirted right through those people, went right into the casino. Obviously, Peyton got stopped for an autograph from everybody, and I think a couple ladies asked him if they wanted to fornicate. And... <laughs> I'm not certain I wasn't there. I'm just assuming what I would do if I was a woman and I saw Peyton Manning, I'd say, hey, no? All right, I'll get out of here. <laughs> he said no to all of them, but I was way ahead of him because he was stopped outside. So I stopped at the roulette table and uh, I get there. I go, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'd like $500 in chips. 
I don't know why I have $500. I don't even think it's mine, but I want them all chips. <laughs> So I start getting these chips and I start putting them on numbers. I'm like, I wear number one. That's definitely gonna hit. I was picked 222 in the draft. Number two is for sure gonna hit. And then I go through the numbers four, Adam Vinatieri. I, you know, touch his ball shower with him, put him in there, he's a legend. And I start going through it. And you know what they say, like a buzz started when somebody walked in the room. When Peyton walked into that casino, a fucking buzz started. Everybody in there was like, Peyton, Peyton fucking man, he has to see his big fucking head right there. It's fucking him. Even the dealers were getting involved. Like the guy's like handing me out chips. He's like, that's Peyton, Peyton fucking Manning's here. And I'm just sitting there like, give me my goddamn chips, buddy. I got to take down this whole house here. I'm taking every chip with me. And I'm like stacking my chips. And he gets to my table and Peyton Manning just slaps you right on my butt. Boom. And I go, well, I'm never washing that ass cheek again ever. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good. And everybody at the table just looks at me like, uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm his caddy. I'm his caddy. Nothing to see here. And he kind of stood behind me for a couple minutes, just kind of watching how everything was going on. And uh, he went to leave. And uh, he goes, how about that red 18 with a wink and a gun? <laughs> and walks off. And I go, well, that's the coolest thing I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Jeez. Gone. I'm like, that's, you are a gangster, man. So I took all of my chips off of all my other numbers, right? I was moving other people's chips, like, hey, I gotta get mine. I gotta, I gotta get mine out from under, I'm sorry. And I put all of my chips on 18, okay? And everybody at the table looks at me and goes, we should probably do that too, huh? And I go, every chip in the entire table was on 18. It looked like the fucking Eiffel Tower. I ain't never seen it before. The guy spins it. And we're just waiting there. And I'm like, if this fucking hits right now, I'm going to be a hero here, I think. All of a sudden, the number stops. What is it? Fucking red 18. Bang! Boom! The other people at the table are like, oh my God! Jesus himself walked into the casino, told me to bet on red 18, and red 18 hits. Ain't nobody gonna believe this. I'm just like collecting my chips, like, I don't know what the fuck just happened. I walk out, I go cash out, I leave, and he, I wake up the next morning. It's the first time I've seen Peyton since the gun in the wink, and I go, uh, I go, hey, man, did you know 18 hit when you said that? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> and it was at that exact moment I said, well, if Peyton tells me to jump, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking jump. <laughs> And now you all know why I ended up in that canal. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly.